Hey everyone, it's Marissa, and I am here with a short tutorial. And you guys know I'm not a tutorial person because I just can't explain it very well. And the number one thing is I don't know how to edit videos. So I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible for myself and for you guys without me being able to edit. So I skipped some, um, I already pre-did some of the steps. So I'm just going to show you. If you guys remember, I made this card a while back. Um, and I used this Elmer's rubber cement to mask the heart so that the ink, the paint didn't get on the, um, the heart. So I decided to do a tutorial on this. So you can get this from any of your stores, Walmart. Um, Target, you probably can even get this like at your local CVS or, you know, um, wherever. But um, this is a couple of bucks. I think this is like three or four dollars. But I'm going to also show you some other items as well that does the same thing. So you have your inexpensive Elmer's rubber cement. Then you have this drying gum. And I don't remember where I got this from. I think I got this from this the art supply warehouse and then um, recently I got this Meloto graphics art masking pen so these are some items that you could also use if um, you guys were wondering but in this video I used rubber cement so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that and I already pre-stamped my image so what you're going to do is you're going to get a, um, what is this, a paintbrush. And I prefer the one that has the, um, the flat edge, not the pointed one. And you're going to get one that, um, that you could use over and over with. But I, as you can see, I put some washi tape on the handle just to show that, um, that this is for my rubber cement, my Elmer's rubber cement. So I know that I can use this one instead of ruining my other brushes. So what you're gonna do is, if you haven't worked with rubber cement, it does have a really foul and strong odor. And then when you open it up, it has this brush, but I don't use this brush. But make sure you have a well-ventilated place because um, if you're sensitive to smell, you this probably could give you a headache. Okay, so I'm working with watercolor paper only because I will be watercoloring on this paper. And so I emboss the image. And then what you're going to do is put some on your paintbrush. And you are going to just add... A not so thick but not too thin layer of the rubber cement in the inside of the image where you do not want to have color so you're just gonna paint that on and as you can see I'm going in I don't know if you can see but um, it's really light nothing too thick I I like to go around the edges first and then fill in the inside of it but like I said you don't want to go too thick because it'll take the drying time will take longer but you don't want it too thin where it um, where the water and the paint can seep through so as you can see it dries really quick but you want to wait at least 30, I would say to be on the safe side, an hour. I waited a whole day because I was doing the steps in between um, my days this week with work. So as you can see, like the thicker spots where I put the cement, it's still wet. And then where I put the, um, the one with less cement, it has already dried. But to be on the safe side, you guys, I would wait a thir 30 minutes to an hour. So... Once you do that, you go ahead and immediately wash your brush so that the cement doesn't dry. And then you could use this brush over again when you need to um, use the cement. So 
I'm going to put that to the side and like I said, 30 minutes to an to an hour to um, have this dried. And when it's dried, when you touch it, it's still going to be a little bit tacky, um, but you don't want it to where it's super wet like this spot right here. So that's that. And then here's my image and I already um, put some cement on here and um, it's dry. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do when you want a watercolor. So what I do is I grab a paintbrush and I just put some water around the image a good amount of water okay and then get my paints here and I got a thing of water you want to wet your paintbrush and then you just kind of and with that water that you put down, it's it's gonna um, like I've mentioned it before. It's going to um, have move, movement with your watercolors. So that's all I did with this card, you guys. See, there's no science to it. You just add the watercolor around your image, but first, don't forget to add. Um, water before you put the color down so that it gives the color movement see so that's all i did okay and then once this dries you can air dry it or you can use your heat tool once that's dry and i already have one here that's what it's going to look like once it's dry okay and then i don't know if you could see but i already did the right side of the heart and the left side still has the cement on it. And right here in this corner, I guess I missed the spot with the rubber cement. So that's why there's a little bit color. But that's okay because that's the beauty of using watercolors is that it doesn't have to be perfect. So as you can see close, like I said, the right side, I've already removed the rubber cement. And the left side, we're going to go ahead and remove it as well. So, um, the items that you could use, they sell these at Michael's and at Joann's. It's one of these funny looking erasers, but I don't like to use, I don't know why. I think it's flimsy and I don't know. I don't like to use it. So what I do is I got a regular eraser. This is a white eraser that I got from Staples. And then I'm going to go ahead, focus in there and show you this is where the magic happens you're just going to erase all the rubber cement and you can even use your fingers actually and it, it will ball up but i choose to use this and it's going to take away all the tackiness as you can see some people use their fingers but i like to use the um the eraser and in some spots you can see that the watercolor did get on the over the um the image but that's okay because that's what watercoloring is all about see and look at that all done that was really simple right so oops there we go so that is my quick tutorial on how I made this card using the rubber cement and a stamped image that was embossed so um yeah super easy right so you guys try this out and when you guys do let me know um let me know when you make a video because i'd like to see what you guys um, come up with so thank you you guys for watching i hope everybody had an awesome day or week I should say because tomorrow's Friday so I will talk to you guys later bye for now thank you for watching